Are you tired of this happening while taming a thorny dragon? My name's Techorsa, and today I'll show you how to tame a thorny dragon, and if you stick around, I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tamed thorny dragons. First off, let's prepare. The food you're gonna need in order from most effective to least effective. Regular kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat, raw prime fish meat, cooked lamb chops, cooked prime meat. I'd recommend using kibble or raw prime meat. It wouldn't hurt to have some cooked prime meat, just in case. You'll need around 100 narcotics per hour during the tame. At a default taming rate, a level 50 can take between 45 minutes and 4 hours, a level 100 can take between 1.5 and, and 7 hours, a level 150 between 2 and 10 hours. These times are the difference between the kibble and raw meat. You'll also want a more abundant food source for the thorny dragon to consume once it wakes up. The recipe for regular kibble is one medium egg, two long grass, two savor root, one cooked meat jerky, five fiber, and one water. At the time you're able to make the saddle for the thorny dragon, the best tranking method you have available to you is the crossbow and trank arrows. You could try it with the club, but clubs take way too long when compared to a crossbow. Thorny butts have a ranged attack which deals torpor damage. Hang on, this one doesn't seem to be dealing much to poor damage. Let me get a higher level one and change my armor. Alright, this is not much better. I'd still recommend having a mount so you can outmaneuver their quills, but it's not totally necessary. Just outrun while hitting it with your trank ammo. If the train affords it, find a large rock or cliff to stand on, or build a tower that's several pillars high. I built mine five pillars high, but shorter might work as well. You could also build a trap. You can try a 2x2 two two wooden box that is one wall high. Or you can try to make a birdcage trap using four dinosaur gateways with doors on either side and a bear trap set in the middle of it. Just make sure to not trigger the trap on yourself or with your mount. Once the thorny butt has set off the bear trap, rush in and close the doors. Now you can knock it out at your leisure, unless you're using the wooden gateways, then it'll eventually break out. If your settings allow for the carrying of wild creatures, you can abduct a thorny dragon with an Argentavis. I want to note this setting is off by default on PvE servers and always on in PvP servers. Carry the thorny dragon to a pre-built taming pen. Whichever way you decide to use, pelt the thorny dragon with trank ammo until it's unconscious. 
Put your food of choice and narcotics in its inventory and maintain it to a pour so it doesn't wake up until it's tamed. If this video was helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. Thorny Dragon Saddle can be learned at level 40 and can be crafted in a smithy with hide, fiber, metal ingots, clay, and wood. There's also a skin for the saddle which you get for owning Scorched Earth. Their saddle can be used as a smithy. You can use weapons while riding a thorny dragon. Their primary attack is a claw swipe. Their secondary attack is a quill throw, which inflicts topor damage. I want to note that in this clip, I have infinite stats turned on for the thorny butt, otherwise it would have long since run out of stamina and died. I think that maybe a higher level thorny dragon would do better, but as it stands, a level 123 thorny dragon with 300% melee damage couldn't reasonably knock out a level 30 raptor. Thorny dragons gather wood at a better efficiency than metal tools. They also have a 50% carry weight reduction on wood and stone, and a 20% carry weight reduction on fiber and thatch. Thorny dragon eggs can be used in the recipe for regular kibble. Two long grass, two savor root, one cooked meat jerky, five fiber, and one water. That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching and have yourselves a very good day.